Well, happy Wednesday to you, Calvary, and those watching with us uh, wherever you're tuning in today. Glad to have you here for your word for the day. You know, we're fresh into our look at the book of Exodus, and we're going to be going through this whole book uh, as a word for the day series. And yesterday, Pastor Joe talked a bit about the legacy of some of the individuals whose story came before this point that we find ourselves. And even though he's passed away at this point, Joseph played an important role in terms of where we find ourselves in the storyline of God's people here today. Because as you look at today's section of Exodus, we're going to be covering verses 8 through 14 of chapter 1. It starts with the line, Now there arose a new king over Egypt who did not know Joseph. Now, this is an important thing to note, because even though there are many, many years uh, that have passed since the actions of Joseph to lead Egypt well in the food shortages and saving countless people from starvation after God allowed him to interpret the dream for the previous Pharaoh, the reality is that Israelite people, God's chosen people, were still living in the blessings of his actions. Until this point, the people were living as friends and favored people in the land of Egypt, all because of Joseph's acts of faithfulness to God and him living with character and integrity, and in turn, God using those things to make an impact on really an entire nation at that point. See, I think we often underestimate the impact we can have long-term with our life with just our small, simple acts of daily faithfulness and integrity and character. So as you start your new year, let me encourage you in, in two things. And the first is just that, to choose to trust God's plan for character and integrity and to follow in that. Joseph had the impact he had because at every single point and turning point in his adult life, he chose to live with character and integrity and countless people were blessed as a result. But the second encouragement I would have for you is maybe not quite so chipper because that is that we should not live with an expectation of ease as followers of Christ. This passage continues with the Pharaoh deciding the Israelite people were too numerous and had too much potential power against his people. So he decided to burden them with a lot of work and eventually enslave them as laborers to try and control their ability to, to overwhelm. And this decision really sets the direction of the entire book of Exodus because this becomes very untenable for God's people. And they begin praying and asking God for a way out of their place now as slaves. But we'll have plenty of time to unpack that as we continue through the book. But what I want to look at is the fact that, that many well-meaning Christians throughout the years have thought that their decision to follow Jesus meant that now life would become easy for them and be without difficulty or suffering or hardship. But the reality is, nowhere in Scripture does God promise to shield us from the hard or painful aspects of life. Instead, He promises to be with us through the storms. He promises to, to redeem our life because of those sufferings. And all, ultimately, He promises a place of eternal dwelling that's free of all that pain and suffering. So this year, don't be surprised when life is difficult. Furthermore, don't be surprised if life is difficult specifically because you're following Jesus. Because after all, we follow and worship a God that was killed for his beliefs and teachings here on earth, so suffering should not be that out of place for us. But as we encounter difficulties, and hopefully as we encounter blessings and amazing opportunities in this new year, let's remember at every point to live with godly character and integrity like Joseph, so that we can make an impact with our life for the glory of God in this world. Have a great week, have a great day, and I hope you have a great new year, Calvary. We'll see you next time.